Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Apple. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, July 14, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since March 13, 2023, our system has ranked Apple as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.53. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 26.73% since we first listed Apple as a buy candidate 86 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.31% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 17.21% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 15.6% and 21.87%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 17.22% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 13.99% and 19.87%. This translates to a price range of $164.01 to $228.58 after a year. Our latest daily update for Apple includes the headline, Apple stock price ended on $190.69 on Friday after gaining 0.0787%. The Apple stock price gained 0.0787% on the last trading day, Friday, July 14, 2023 rising from $190.54 to $190.69. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 0.81% from a day low at $189.63 to a day high of $191.18. The price has been going up and down for this period and there has been a 0.58% gain for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 2 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 41 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7.77 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $194.48, and the lowest price was $124.17. Currently, the price is 1.95%, or $3.79, below the 52-week high, and 16.46%, or $37.57, below the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Raymond James set a price target of 170. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Wedbush set a price target of 180. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Rosenblatt Securities set a price target of 173. On Friday, February 3, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 173. Analysts have given Apple stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Apple. The Apple stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, 
There will be some support from the lines at $190.03 and $184.54. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, June 30, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 1.69%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 10 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 9 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal not applicable days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 56 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 116 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 108 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Apple On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $179.58 and $177.25. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Apple finds support just below today's level at $179.58. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $177.25 and $173.57. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $1.55 between high and low, or 0.81%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.26%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Apple, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 25, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Apple. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple is at $191.33. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Apple encounters its first support level at $179.58. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Apple from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 16, 2023, Young Andrea conducted an insider sell of 68,642 shares of common stock. On May 10, 2023, Adams Catherine L. conducted an insider sell of 2,900 shares of common stock. On May 8, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 4,092 shares of common stock. On April 15, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider buy of 10,792 shares of common stock. On April 15, 2023, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 4,384 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 36.273. Overall, 
Insiders purchased 1,451,037 shares and sold 3,312,807 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $182.73, minus 4.17%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 9 days ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Apple stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Monday, July 17, we expect Apple to open down dash $0.192 and start trading at $190.50. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.